Hi everybody, I thought it would be quite interesting and perhaps useful to look at the Nitrado Android app that you can have running on your phone. It's not quite as powerful as using the web interface, but you can do some very useful things with this. Um, starting off basically is, as you can see, you can have your services, but this is where you could um, extend, uh, charge your account and make sure that your servers, your DayZ servers, don't go out of date. So... Let's go in and have a look at my Xbox server. So at the dashboard, um, you can just sort of see what the status is. And one of the most useful things from here is obviously the ability to stop and or restart the server. So if you get some messages from the people on your server saying, hey, the server's stopped, it's crashed. This is where, you know, you could hit restart or and, and, and get it running again. Um, because Daisy, if you don't have a regular restart program, and I have done videos about that, if you check out the channel, does um, use up more and more memory and then the server does crash and it doesn't always restart itself so the ability to do that is very good um, you can see how many people are on the uh, server right now so it's like a quick snapshot so for example on my xbox server there's nobody on it no uh, zero from ten um, and then what we can do then is you can then go down and look at resource uses this is quite useful one cpu uses doesn't really matter memory uses actually is an interesting one because you can kind of look at how the server's responding and what you can see here is exactly why you need to have a regular reset program in place for your nitrado uh, daisy server or your daisy servers in general because over time they use more and more memory till eventually the server crashes so if you can reset it at least once every 12 hours, preferably I think every six hours. That means people will get used to those reset times and it'll mean that the server doesn't crash. Um, and then you've got players. So you can look at how many players have been been on your server. Uh, it could indicate that there's a problem. Um, it's always good to see. Um, event logs, these don't show you that much. They're quite good. In the fact that you know you see where the star the server is stopping and starting, but the most useful one are the log files. Now the log files for my Xbox one are going to be fairly boring, but this is where you can look through <coughs> and you can see who's been logging in and out of the server. Look out for strange names. You can see who's killed who. Um, if anybody's been damaged or by a zombie or wolves and that sort of thing, especially when you're running things like PvP special events, this is where you can go in and you can see, you know, Fred killed Bob with his uh, KA from 54 yards, you know, 54 meters, and you can use that in the way that you want to. Um, server settings. Now, this is very powerful as well. Um, this is where, again, you can respond um, when you're at work or when you're away from your laptop with things like say you had some people come in say your password got shared for your server by mistake you could then or deliberately this is where you could then uh, go in and you could change the password uh, re uh, save save um, what's going on um, and then restart the server because whenever you save the password you really want to do a restart afterwards to, to make it come into effect to boot everybody off so they've got to put their server back, back in um, you could change the the, the uh, time multiplier and the, the night multiplier as well and uh, you could also then add your people to your ban list again this is very useful if you're in a situation where say you're at work you're away from your laptop you're not at home and something happens that you need to respond to um, which tends to be things like uh, servers crashing, servers stopping, uh, unwanted people coming into the server. And you, with the Nitrado Android app, you've got all these things at your fingertips so you can respond. Um, con config files, I don't think they work at the moment. On the web interface, this is where you would put your messages in um, to people. And then you've got charge account, account overview, and that sort of stuff. So there we go. Hopefully... Those little hints and tips will show you how useful the Nitrado Android app can be. And I've found it very useful, um, especially for my PlayStation 4 server, um, where I, you know, I'll be at work and somebody will say, oh, you know, the server stopped. I mean, it, it doesn't stop anymore because I have a regular, but when it used to stop, before I figured out that you need, need to reset them every six hours, server stop can do something about it. And in fact, today we had some problems with some people coming into the server who I wanted to get rid of. And it enabled me to stop the server, um, 
change the password, restart the server, add people to the ban list, that sort of thing. So if you've got a Nitrado custom private server, download the app um, for Android, and you know, and you've got a little bit more control at your fingertips. Okay, if you've got any questions or comments, put them down below. Um, if you enjoyed the video, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. If you want to join our private servers, I've got a Xbox private server and a PlayStation private server for Daisy. I'll, I'll put the link to do that as well down below. Thank you very much, and I'll see you again soon.